Hi guys, this is uh, Ditesco from my blog zone. Uh, today I will show you um, a bit about uh, Bing's uh, new webmaster tools, so the new features that uh, they recently introduced and most importantly uh, I will show you how to use the tool called SEO Analyzer which is a great, an absolutely great tool for you to identify and fix uh, on-page SEO problems on your website, uh, if any, of course. Anyway, uh, if you haven't been using Bing uh, for a while now, uh, one thing that you will notice is that it's, it's completely new. Uh, I think it doesn't have anything to do with an update, as they're saying, but it's basically a whole new set of uh, tools and the design is um, actually even better and uh, they have also introduced uh, a lot of new uh, features which uh, for example if you look here on the left hand side you have the reports and data um, data side where you can get page traffic uh, you can use the index explorer to see how many uh, pages uh, your website has been indexed on Bing you have the search keywords uh, which is a new tool that uh, you can use to search for keywords and the interesting bit about this is that it uh, Bing fetches keywords from their organic data uh, so it's not just from their ad center but rather from the whole database uh, they have on, on their organic search but anyway, you can always browse through all of these um, tools here. You have also the new set of uh, diagnostics and tools. Just keyword research, link explorer. Uh, it's very, very similar to that of Yahoo Site Explorer. If you uh, used it before, you would know that it is used to discover how many pages are linked to your site. You can filter it with uh, you know, with anchor tags and and a lot of other interesting, uh, cool stuff. Well, basically, if you clicked on this diagnostic tools, this is what you're going to see. And if you want to know what each of these tools can actually do for you, uh, you just hover over this eye, and a tiny box will pop up, and it will tell you basically what the tool is. Uh, it's about so it's really cool it tells you basically you know the necessary information as to what you can do about this specific uh, set of tools okay that was just a quick introduction uh, the main reason why I'm uh, showing you this today is to tell you how to use the uh, SEO uh, analyzer or SEO uh, on-page optimization that Bing has introduced. Um, so let's just go ahead and click on reports and data SEO reports. Okay. Well, as you can see, you can immediately uh, uh, see that Bing returns SEO suggestions. Okay. This is to comply with best SEO practices and I believe that uh, this type of suggestions is not only tailored for Bing but uh, basically for all search engines this um, type of suggestions that they they provide you here are actually uh, good SEO practices so as I said you got the suggestions here are basically a quick um, quick information of what the problem is, the severity of the problem, whether it's low, moderate or high. Obviously I think you should be focusing on the uh, problems that have high severity, uh, the count, the error counts, so how many pages that this specific problem uh, is actually appearing on your site. And I think this is a great report, a uh, great tool because uh, in my case, for example, I have uh, over 400 posts and uh, at a certain point, I think we tend to neglect a little bit the older po uh, the older posts that we have. Uh, 
and probably we've also started you know with less knowledge of SEO so it's more likely that we have uh, you know have some problems uh, with, with, with those particular pages so um, this report Bing automatically runs it I think every week or so so you won't be seeing any SEO report unless you have your site uh, added and obviously verified on Bing Webmaster Tool. So the first thing you have to do is do that and maybe wait a couple of weeks or so until Bing gathers some data and then after that just go ahead and check back and most likely you will see already uh, a report where you can see some of the suggestions that Bing is giving. Okay, so to make this short, let's just go ahead and 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 see on one of the things that you can do with this with this tool. Uh, as you can see here, it says that I have 13 pages that have multiple H1 tags. Okay, that's not good. Uh, a page should only have one H1 tag, which is the main uh, title or heading tag for that specific post. So having more than one. Um, it's not important. It's not. Uh, it's not good. So basically, this is one of the things that you really should be concerned about. So let's just go ahead and click on this one and see what it, what comes up. Okay. So SEO analysis detail. The suggestion it says that you have multiple H1 tags on that specific page. The severity it's very high. The error counts is how many times. Uh, this error appears on those specific pages. The number of non-compliant pages, uh, you can see that, that that's very important, it says they're non-compliant. And then basically the recommended action. But let's go ahead and see. As you can see, it will give you a list of all your non-compliant pages right here. Okay? So let's click on this one, uh, which already actually looked previously just to make this site lo uh, load faster so let it load let's hold on a second Okay, so now that the, uh, um, if you see, this is the URL that uh, the, prob the problem is appearing, the one where I have multiple H1 tags, and actually I also have some problems with uh, image, uh, with tag, with images that are not uh, properly optimized. But let's just go ahead and see uh, uh, the problem about the H1 multiple tags. As you can see here on the right side, it loads the the act it actually loads the page where the problem is okay so you can see that there are this red one here like if you hover it it says high severity issue multiple h1 tags on the page click on the expand and will it will tell you uh, the code where the problem identifies and the recommend action okay this is this is really really cool it actually tells you where the problem is um, same same goes for if you click on the other one. Um, okay. Second, expand. Okay, so it says here H1, uh, the title, and the recommended action. This is actually where my problem is. Okay, I have the title, which is already an H1, and then I have another uh, heading inside the post, which also carries an h1 tag title uh, so i have to change that okay um just let's just go ahead and see the page source uh you can have an idea so this is what the page source is and, and this is really cool because if you click on this buttons here on the right side so i just go ahead and click through that will give you uh indicate you where the problem is on uh your html so let's just go ahead and click and see what happens you see that thing scrolling? That's incredible. It highlights in yellow exactly where the problems are. So as I said, this is my title, which has a, an H1 tag. And I have another heading inside 
um, that also is using an H1 title. So that's what I have to, to, to change. Okay, so this is the URL of the page. I just went ahead and opened that, which is this one. See, so this is the title that's also using an H1 tag. Uh, if you're on WordPress, just go ahead and click the HTML. There you go, you see? It's H1. Uh, what I have to do now is just change this to say H2. Updates post. And I'm good to go. Okay, let's take a look at that one. So now, as you can see, if I click on this one, it says heading two. So that, that, that has been changed from H1 to H2. So yeah, that's basically it. Uh, as you can see, it's really uh, easy, quite uh, good and excellent tool. Once you've got that uh, problem fixed, just go back to your SEO uh, report. and you can address the problems individually as uh, you go by. Um, you should take a note that once you've done this uh, rectifications, it won't uh, immediately show on your SEO report in Bing. You will have to allow Bing to recrawl the site, uh, the URLs, and then perhaps a week later, go back to your SEO reports and see that they have been uh, uh, eliminated from uh, your SEO problems. Okay, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that and um, time to clean up. Bye-bye. Thank you.